r slash credit by Redmond Dites. To people in Florida. How is the evacuation situation with Hurricane Milton? Interstates were bumper to bumper northbound all day Monday and Tuesday. They opened up the shoulders, and in some cases, turned southbound lanes into extra northbound lanes. I left Tampa for Orlando late Tuesday night, and I thought was pretty clear by then. Gas is hard to find in some isolated areas, but it sounds like there's plenty on the evacuation routes, just long lines at the pumps. Most people are complying with the evacuation orders. It's been slow but orderly. It took my parents 10 hours to get to South Carolina, and that's usually a 5 hour drive. It's just a lot of people to move. Edit, just going to answer questions here instead of replying individually. Evacuation taking only twice, as long as normal traffic is actually really good. Yes, Orlando is also in the path, but it's less prone to flash flooding here, and I have a generator which I don't have at home. My parents have an RV, so they evacuated out of state with that yesterday morning, and I'm staying at their place. I should be fine here. Biggest worry is tornadoes rolling through this afternoon, but there's really no dodging those anyway. I don't know anyone who thinks the government is making the hurricanes, but I don't really hang out with dumbasses. It seems like most people in the Tampa area are taking it seriously and acted early to evacuate appropriately. Helene was a decent warning shot for us with record storm surge. They're saying this one will likely have a bigger storm surge. We are still completely saturated, and they are predicting up to 18 inches of rainfall, so flash flooding is a big concern on top of storm surge, which is why I left to go inland, even though I'm not in an evacuation zone. South Tampa, Florida checking in. I lost most everything, including my car, from Helene. I stayed in my apartment up until Monday. I'm in zone A which means mandatory evacuation. I took all that I had left and what could fit in my car. I had to leave some things behind. My cat and I are at a hotel. Hopefully safe. Not entirely sure what or where my next move is. It's a scary, confusing, exhausting time. St. Petersburg resident here. Honestly, the evacuation wasn't horrible. I ended up going to Orlando. Still in the path of the storm, but should be much less intense. The worst part of all of this is the dread. There's such a heavy grief and sadness in St. Petersburg, and it was really hard to leave knowing I might be coming back to a disaster. I might come back, and my whole home and all my things are gone. I'm glad I'll be safe and physically sound. But I'm already mourning the city that I love so much, and all the beautiful people that live there. Edit, it's incredibly endearing to see so much support and love being shared in these comments. The Tampa Bay community is so unbelievably special, as many of you are attesting to If there's one silver lining in this, it's knowing that we are truly in this together and will rebuild together to restore this shared place we love. My aunt and uncle were planning on riding it out in Venice in order to support some neighbors who could not leave. That has changed, and they are gathering, said neighbors and pets, and going to our empty seasonal condo a ways inland. They can't get a hold of the property manager to get the key, but my uncle is a retired firefighter, and I'm confident in his ability to get in. I told him I'll replace the damn door frame if I have to. Live in Tampa, Zone A, husband and I evacuated out of state with our dogs and important items. I park my car at my friend's parking garage on the 6th floor to avoid flooding, and we drove my husband's car out. We left around 4.30am on Tuesday, so no extensive traffic. Some pockets of slowdown, but no real gridlock luckily. I'm glad we are safe, but I'm sick to my stomach over what's going to happen to our community. I'm not in Florida, but an 82 year old family friend is. He's right on the coast in Tampa, and is refusing to evacuate. I'm pretty worried about it, but it's too late for me to fly down, rope up the guy, and drag him north. Edit, he's fine, apparently no one could get a hold of him, 
because he left in the morning to go to a friend's house because he didn't have power and his phone wasn't charged. Mom's pretty close to the path. She's hunkered down with the dog. All the windows are hurricane rated, new ice roof to the latest code, whole house generator with buried propane tank to power it. She's outside the mandatory evacuation zone and the local shelter is only like 300 yards away as the crow flies anyway, and she's at close to the highest point in the county. Fingers crossed. This one feels very different. I'm inland by Orlando, so my experience has been more people heading this way. Resources are strapped. No gas, shelves empty, it's pretty bad. The worst part is the information train. It's hard to differentiate information. This storm is moving quick, and it is yet to de-intensify. It would be really nice for this thing to slow down. This storm is very scary. You can feel it. I pray for the west coast and everyone in Milton's path. Let us all hope for this storm to de-escalate it as expected. Stay safe everyone, and listen to yourself, and the official messaging. Do not play games with this. A category 5 or 4 or 3 is no joke. A category 1 can be no joke. I'm looking at Earth Cam, Naples, Florida, and there are people surfing. My mother-in-law evacuated Monday. She was not going to wait till the last minute. She made sure the breakers we off, water and gas are off, and everything unplugged from the outlets. She moved all her valuables to the second floor. She's also one of the few in her neighborhood that has flood insurance. She's hoping for the best. Took pictures of everything just in case for insurance purposes. And she drove here to Kansas. She didn't want to risk her car getting flooded. She did the right thing in my opinion. I hope others do as well. My dad and step family are near Port Charlotte. They planned to ride it out when it was headed for Tampa. They saw the shift south yesterday, but they still weren't in an evacuation zone so still decided to wait it out. Late last night they finally got an alert that their zone needs to evacuate. There is no gas anywhere, and the only shelters they can make it to are also technically in the same zone they live in. They should have evacuated days ago when me and my brother were asking them to. Now they are shit out of luck. They are totally boarded up, and finally bought flotation devices, after I begged them to. They are about 15 feet above sea level, so it's cutting it really close, if the storm surge will get to them. My family and I were at Disney World since Saturday. Everything was business as usual there, aside from some rainy moments. We managed to move our flights pretty easily, and departed yesterday night at about 8pm. Was surprised to hear from many other resort goers that they were just planning to ride out the storm. People and their Disney hopes and dreams can't be squashed by a historical hurricane evidently, wild. Evacuating during hurricanes is tough. I remember feeling stressed, but also relieved to get to safety. Stay safe everyone, and look out for each other during this time. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening.